Hey. Depression be building the flesh and the spirit be battling. I gotta stay awake. Can't lose my faith, cause that's all that I gotta be sending. It's time that I change my ways. Repentance is all on my mind. I gotta stay righteous. I'm taking it day to day. Stay strong in the battle. I fight. I wanna do right. Ain't no time to play it safe. I put on that armor, God. Commandments gon' keep me alive. We fighting them demons. My spirit on defense. I do what I do to survive. I took some wins and some losses. I know God don't walk this repent or I die. The kingdom stay all on my mind. Stay in them scriptures. I've been on the ground. Uh, yeah, how will be taking me further? Kill off the old man. I see my cigar shine. I'm breaking the sense of it. Who are we? We are the Hebrew yeah, Israelites, according to the Bible. The so called oh, Blacks, yeah. Hispanics, Native it's Americans. That's who y'all are reporting oh. to the Bible. What's going on? What's going on, brother? I'm doing good. How you doing, brother? How you doing? What's your name? My man? name is Mark Wade. Mark Wade? Yeah, from Chicago. Like, you know, you Yeah, I know my child. I'm, 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 I'm trying to lead my family down the right path. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Okay. All right. So, you can get Colossians 317 first, right? Uh oh. Look, you got my daughter in front ready? Uh huh. That's what we do. She loves it. I'm yeah. crazy. Okay. All right, reread that. Book Colossians 3 and verse 17. Pray it out! What shall we do in word or deed? All in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. Right. So you know that you're from the tribe of Judah, right? Yes. That's what you said. Okay. So as an Israelite, right? You know that you're Israelite from the tribe of Judah. What, yes. what are we supposed to be doing? We're supposed, we're supposed to be discipling. We're supposed to be a, being a fisherman of men. We're okay. supposed to be that light that shines in dark places. You know, people don't notice. The, uh, that is the spiritual warfare that's taking place. We're supposed to be able to shine. When I step next to somebody, I'm supposed to be able to expose the truth. Uh -huh. And that's what we're supposed to be doing. That's good. Okay, G give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12, right? Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Right. Because, you know, that, that's that's definitely true, right? We're supposed to be, supposed to have our light, our light shining. And yeah. the light is symbolic for the commandments. So when people see it, when our people see us, they're supposed to see the way that we're moving, right? Yeah. So let me read that real quick, right? The book of Deuteronomy to the 10 and verse 12. Bring it out! And now, Israel, uh -huh. what does the Lord thy God require of thee? So now it's saying, now Israel, what does God require of you? Because just knowing that you're an Israelite, that's that's just the first step. Okay. Right? Because you know, if you if you wanna you wanna apply, if you wanna work at a job or it's like like do construction or plumbing, you know, it's more than just saying that you are, but your your actions have to follow what you do. The same, yeah. Right, exactly. Same would be the same would be an Israelite, right? Huh, you know? But to fear the Lord thy God. Right, so the first requirement it says we gotta fear God, right? Yes. Okay, read on. Yes. To walk in all his ways. Walk in all his ways, read on. And to love him. And to what? And, and to love, love him. him. And to love him. Now, would you say that you love God, Mark Way? Yes, because I made changes in my life. I was um I was going down the wrong path. So I made changes because I'm gonna say this. Uh -huh. I made changes because I noticed that I need him. Okay. I made change because without him, I, I'm gonna fail. Okay. So it started with just noticing that I needed that, needed uh -huh. him in my life, and now it's to the point where I love the fact I love him. All right, I'm in, I mean, I, I can't be not walking with him. I can't no, not. No, be. that's real. Yeah, that's real. So how how are we supposed to show him love though? Because you know, if I, if I tell you I love you, right? It's an but action word. It's an action word, right? So what, what actions does God require from us to show him love? Keeping the commandment. Give brother brother hand. All praise. That's beautiful, right? Hey, it's all him. It's all him. I'll, I'll praise the right? Come on, let me, let me read that for you, right? Let me read that for you, right? It's okay. We love it. We love it. See, and, and Mark Quayle, the scripture says Satan cometh immediately, right? Hey, anytime anytime hey, the word comes out, Satan always comes immediately, right? When I'm praying with my family, uh -huh. they call him the phone. Right. When I'm exactly. praying, somebody uh -huh. wants to talk. Bro, I already uh -huh. know. Exactly. I already know. So I that's, love it. That's just it just showed that you in the right, dog. You exactly. in line. That's exactly. all. That's, so he's trying to he trying that's to real, Mark That's real. That's, that's real, man. man. The book of First John, chapter five and verse three. Yeah. Yeah. For this is the love of God. This is the love of God. Read on. That we keep His commandments. That we do what? That, that we keep, keep His commandments. His commandments. His commandment. Just like you said, Mark Wade. That's how we show God that we love Him, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Get a brother hand. You a sharp brother, man. It's not me though. Of course. I, I'm, I'm just right? a nigga in the streets, but I, I went to him and then now I'm this. Okay. So what you see is a, him. Right. I'm, trying be, I'm trying to walk in his name. Of course. Okay, that's all. Of course, right? So let, let me show you one commandment that you can't do now, right? Okay. Okay. Numbers 15 or 30. Okay. Okay. Numbers no. 15 and verse 38. Read it out! Right. Speak unto the children of Israel uh -huh. and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Right. So one of the commandments we gotta have fringes in the borders of our garments. Look, all around what all, all of us have on here is we got a garment. 
Right, we got fringes. Well, garments it's like goes into clothing. Any any kind of clothes that you wear, we have to have fringes on. Like our shirts, even um these, which is called the ZZs, you can have these on as well, right? So, so, so my bad, bro. My bad. Sorry, sorry, this right here is called fringes. These are yeah, these are the fringes right here. Oh, so, okay. Uh huh. But then these these would be called the ZZs, right? Because uh, we, well, we can refinish that out, read them. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Uh -huh. Throughout their generation. Right. Throughout their generation. So you gotta you gotta teach your you know you gotta teach your children to, how to how to how to, to have them on as well, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Right, a ribbon of blue, so you see? You got the ribbon of blue on it as well. Even on, on these, right? They got a ribbon of blue on it as well. Right? You look closer, closer. Okay. Blue on there as well, right? So that's the Bible tells us that's how we gotta wear it, right? Read on. Verse 39. Uh -huh. And it shall be unto you for a friend. Right. So that was gonna go into the, the meaning, like there's a deeper meaning than it. it's just you know it, it's fly, you know, it looks nice, yeah, but yeah. it's, and, a and it's, it's like different realms. You no, know, the fleshly realm is just cold, mm -hmm. but the spiritual realm is honoring God. Right, exactly. So it, it, there's a there's a, a deeper meaning than just you know that's how it looks, right? So it's gonna go into that. Read on. That ye may look upon it. Uh -huh. And remember all the commandments of the Lord. And do what? And remember, remember all, all the, the commandments, commandments of the Lord. Lord. Remember all the commandments of the Lord. So when you're looking at these, these are supposed to remember, help you remember. So if there's anything you're struggling with, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times our people struggle with, with drugs, with um, you know, eating, you know, swine or pork or stuff like that. No, we don't eat that. Exactly, right? Exactly, right? This is supposed to be a, a symbolic, symbolic for keeping the commandments, right? Yeah. So anytime we, we want to win these, you see our bacon ate up there, we got our fringes. I'm not supposed to be eating that, right? right. Yeah. Exactly. That's, that's, the, that's the symbolism. For just a reminder. Reminder. Of keeping the commandments. Exactly. Exactly. I, I so that's said, that's one of the commandments that you could be keeping right now. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the commandments you could be keeping right now. So let me show you another one, right? Give me a um, Leviticus. So is that just on your shirt, or is that like a belt that goes? It's, it's on, on your shirt. shirt. It's on your shirt. So I had to get shirts with that. You can on. get shirts, or you can, you know, you, you can get the ZZs as well. Y'all got them? Y'all got no right now? I don't know. I don't know if any brothers got any uh, extra pairs. I buy. It. You see? You see that? All crazies. All crazies. I buy. You see that? No, huh, all crazies. Well, we can't, you know. See? All crazies. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That's the most time on there, man. Huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Deuteronomy 22. Put them on your shirt. She want to wear them? All crazy. All crazy, right? Come on, you see that? You see that? Oh, okay. Right. 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 Oh, my God. Right. 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 If any man take a wife and go up. Okay, no, you're good, yeah. I'm listening. So, any man take a wife. <laughs> we here. God shall make these fringes upon the upon the four quarters of thy vesture. Upon the what? Upon, upon the, the four, four quarters of thy vesture. vesture. Upon the four quarters, right? Um, here. Okay. That's what that's what these are for as well, right? So you know, all, all crazy. That's what that's real. You know what I'm saying? That's that's how that's how we got that's, we got to take those steps, you know? Because a lot of times you know we come into this, we don't have the full understanding, right? But you know it's not a coincidence that you're running into us right now. You, you already knew that you're from the Shabbat Shalom. I already knew. I knew it was something when I was a little kid that the way that I was being brought up was not in line with who I really am. I knew that. Yeah. I used to be like, God, what's going on? Like as a little kid, uh -huh. like. And then when I got older, it'll just start things that I'm not. Spiritual world make yeah. sense to me. Right. And it don't make sense to a lot of people. So I just know there's something different about me that I'm a disciple, bro. I mean, we, we need you on this side. Though, I know that. We need already, you on this side. I already know that. <laughs> I, I'm a soldier, bro. I already know. Uh, this, Leviticus 1927. So I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna show you some more commandments that you can be keeping, right? More commandments, right? Leave that. Leviticus 19 and verse 27. You should not round the corners of your head. So this morning says that you can't round the corners of your head, right? Meaning that we can't be bald, we can't get bald heads, right? We can't get the Michael Jordan, we can't get the Tyrese, right? Or if, you know, a lot of times it's hard for our people to grow hair, but we can't physically make ourselves bald, right? Cutting your head is forbidden. Not, not, not cutting your hair, but just cutting it to where it's like to where it's bald. To where it's bald, right? 
And also going into the, like getting those sharp tape lines, right? We get the razor and the tape lines, we can't do that as well. Because these customs, these were the things that the Egyptians were doing. They're around this time, we were out of, we were out of Egypt. So we had to separate from their practices. So, Pagan. Pagan. Right. Exactly, exactly. Read on. Neither shut down bar the corners of thy beard. Neither what? Neither shut down bar the corners of thy beard. Now it says you can't mar the corners of our beard, meaning that our beard we can't we can't like destroy our corners of it. Right? We can't. Like how you have it with That's the goatee, you can't we can't do that. We have to if, if the, the size is the all can grow, we have to let it grow. Let it let it connect. Exactly, we gotta let it connect, right? Uh-huh. So that's that's another commandment that you can be keeping right there as well. I know you got the low team. I'm sure you can grow food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. That's that's those steps that you can take, my friend, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm with him to take uh-huh. I live for God as well. I praise you. Give Mark with him. Uh, It's not, it's not me, it's not you, it's not anybody, it's the most high God. He always gets that glory. He always gets that glory. And it's, it's just, a beautiful thing. It's still thing. wrong when y'all say, give it up for Mark Quaid. But I know that I don't take no credit in this because all glory be to him because I'm a weak individual what I am. Of course, man. Of course, right? Uh, 10 to 7. Look at 2 Corinthians, chapter 10, and verse 17. Bring it out! For he that glorious, uh -huh. let him glory in the Lord. Let him what? Let, let him glory in the Lord. Lord. You got to glory in the Lord, right? So it's a glorious thing, right? That you're, you're up here, right? It's not, nothing happens by coincidence with the most high God, right? And so it's not a coincidence that you already know that you're from the tribe of Judah. And now it's time for you to take that next step and level up, right? So you got any questions or anything like that? Anything you want to talk about? I mean, y'all got a nibble? Uh -huh. well, yeah, we got our information on the fly right there. Right? That's the only question I got because I already know where to go from here. Okay. All praise. All praise, man. So definitely hit us up, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful day that we that we that we have in this discussion with you right now, right? All praise, man. I love man. seeing my people. Uh, uh, I'm 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 all right, y'all can hang with each other. Okay. All right. No, no problem, my friend. So now I want to. One more thing, brother. Yeah, one more. One more thing. One more thing. One more thing. One more thing. Right? Because we got to. We got to address this, man. I need to be here with y'all. You gotta address this, right? Who is this? Who is this, right? Who is this? Who is this, Mark Way? That's an invitation to Jesus. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Does your daughter know that? Yeah. You know? Alright. Alright, let's see. Let's see, right? Let's test it. Yeah, Revelation. Book of Revelation, the 1 and verse 1. Bring it up! Revelation of Jesus Christ. What? Revelation of Jesus Christ. The revelation meaning to reveal, right? Read on. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Who bear record? Who did what? Who bear record? John the Revelator, he bear records of what Christ looks like, right? So let's let's go into that account, right? Go to verse 14. Verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hair were white like wool. What? Were, were, were white, white like, like wool. wool. So it said his head and his hair were white like wool. What's your, what's your daughter's name? Mark Caleb. Mark Caleb. Mark Caleb. Mark Caleb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So Mark Caleb, it says his head and his hairs are white like wool. Is his hair white? It's not, it's not white, right? So that's strike one, right? That's strike one, because his hair is not white. Right? Right. Read on. As white as snow. Uh-huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. It says his eyes was as a flame of fire. Mark Martin, what color is fire? You know what color what color fire is? You say red, right? Uh-huh. What, what color are his eyes? It's not, it's not red, Mark Martin. Look, look, look a little closer. Look a little closer. Blue, right? You said blue, yes. Yeah. So Color it said it's like flame of fire. The fire is red and his eyes are blue. So that's that's not the same. So that's strike two, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Read on. And his feet. And his what? And, and his, his feet. feet. Now Mark Miller, aren't your feet? Your feet are the same color as the rest of your body, right? Right? Yeah. Okay. So it says and yeah. his feet. Read on. Like unto fine breath. Like what? Like, like unto, unto fine breath. How it says his feet is like unto fine breath. <laughs> okay. Have you ever seen a penny? You know what a penny is? What color is a penny? It's like a brown. It's like a, a brownish color, right? But 
but but read on is gonna go more than these. As if they burned in a furnace. As what? As, As if, if they, they burned, burned in a furnace. furnace. Christ was so dark, it was like he was burned in a furnace. Does he look like he was burned? Is he was burned to you, Marco? No, right? So after what we read in the Bible, can this be Jesus? Is this Jesus? Is this Jesus, Marco? Oh, no, 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 no. no. You guys can that. Yeah, yeah. Is, that, is, is, is that the real Jesus? Is this the real Jesus? No. Okay, give Marco a hand. So we, we understand that this is this is not Jesus according to what the Bible says. So I want you to I want you to step on it. I want you to step on it. Right? Yeah. I'll yeah. Yeah. Any movies that they have where it's Bible, they always have it as white, white people. people. Exactly. It's white people, I'll right? Exactly. All praises. Yeah. All praises. Read, read that. The book at 2 Corinthians, chapter 10, and verse 5. Here we go. Casting down imagination. Wait, what? Casting, Casting down, down imagination. imagination. Right, so we're ordered to cast down imagination. So this picture is imagination. There's nowhere in the Bible we can find that Christ would look like this, right? Not at all. So that's, no, an, no. That's, a, that's an imagination, and that's what we're out here to do. Cast down those imaginations because a lot of our people to this day still, still believe, believe, right? Still believe this is right. My grandma. It's crazy. Oh man, your grandma? Oh, man. I already know. To this day, they still believe that this is right. I'm over there every day. Oh, yeah, right, right. See, that's crazy. But that just shows you that it's just a strong. Generational curse? Right, gener it's a generational curse, right? It's a strong, you got a stronghold to what we believe, right? Stronghold. Read on. Passing down imagination. And every hard thing that exalted itself uh -huh. against the knowledge of God right. and bring it into captivity, every thought to the obedience of Christ. Right. That's what we are here to do, Mark Way. All praises. All praises, right? It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day, Mark Way. You got any, um, anything else? You wanna, now you wanna got talk no about? questions, but I'm happy uh, I ran into y'all. All praises. All praises. And so, our information is on that flyer. Our information is on that flyer right there, right? Okay. So we got a YouTube page um, where you can check out our content and things like that. We also have a school um, down in uh, South Florida, in Broward County. So, um, yeah, definitely check, check out the information on that flyer, my friend. I will. I definitely will. Y'all got to, like, close by. Not, not yet. Not yet. It'll take it to YouTube. Well, if you scan the barcode on the front, with your, with your phone, on your camera, it, it'll direct you to our YouTube and our Instagram. Oh, perfect. So you can, perfect, you can check perfect, out our content perfect. and things like that, right? All right. Uh, uh, yeah. All right, man. Mark, man, take care, man. Take care, man. We hope we hope to see you again, man. God. All praises, man. All praises. Give me your... Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give me the most high hand, man. Give me the most high hand, man. Give me the most high hand, man. Give me the most high hand, Because we understand that we're not out here for every single soul, man. We understand every single soul, every single person is not gonna is not gonna listen to what the scripture says, right? But we are here for that one individual, those two people, or whatever number is, is fit in the most high's eyes. We're, we're here for those people. That's what we're here for, right? We don't. Look at Luke to the fifteen and verse seven. Right. I say unto you, uh -huh. but likewise, joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repent over what over, over one, one sinner, sinner that repent. That repent. Joy is in heaven over one sinner that repented, right? It's not a, we're not out here for the whole block. A lot of these people, a lot of people are, are still gonna walk past here doing what they want to do. What? Not knowing who they are, we're thinking that they're a color out of the crayon box, right? They're still gonna walk walk to and fro thinking that. But we're out here for that one individual, those two people that wanna that wanna listen to what we gotta say and change their heart and repent, right? Right. That's what we are here for. Gotta move in the spirit. Gotta move in the spirit.